So here we just have a tiny island surrounded by a whole load of creep. So yeah, we'll just calmly beat back an entire lake. Why not? We need to get some things going first, like a factory. And we don't have a lot of real estate to work with here. So this is definitely going to make things interesting as far as power production goes. And we need to focus on protecting our island as much as possible. So probably putting some shields down on the four corners would be a good idea. As long as we have plenty of arc to work with. And thankfully our base is parked on like every ore in the game. So that should work for us. There we go, getting a couple of those going and with the shields down it's actually pushing out the creep oh, oh in no. the direction of our base that's not what i intended need to get those other shields going up right away that was very accidental whoops okay but now we have all the shields going with not a whole lot of arg but it should be enough just to keep everything sort of stabilized let's make good use of this by putting out some more towers for energy production and we have access to the lower level already which Whoa. i like and the big deciding factor here is going to be if we can make it down to the ocean floor because all of this is anti-creep breeder speaking of we have a lot of those so let's cover what we have with some anti-creep get two of those going either way and then some cannons on this lower level just to act as a defense measure in case our shields go down because we're in a bit of a deficit for arg especially on the back side here this shield is barely keeping up oh but this guy's already shooting at the creep neat oh gosh and the waves are coming back from the shields that we put down on all four corners oh no that might have been a bad idea thankfully i have cannons i also have a deficit that's not what i want right now gonna need a few more towers keeping everything nice and snug and also making sure our shields are not going down at all okay but now the sprayers are down so let's make them always on and now the anti-creep is flowing that's very good that's another layer of defense now i wish i had enough real estate to put down a refinery oh i can right there neat now we can use the green stuff though i wish i had real estate for an urn thing but this thing is huge. We probably won't be able to use this until we're at the ocean floor. Okay, now we're using about as much as we're creating, which has given us more of a deficit. So something needs to go. All right, just move down again and then place down more towers. I'm not getting as much energy production as I would like. This is difficult. At least I can reach more to the backside here. I need some cannons over there, probably. This one isn't doing anything. Go on over there. Oh, especially since it was reaching up on the side there. That would not have been good. I need to keep everything alive. Once this refinery gets built, I think the usage is gonna go down so we can solve this deficit. Okay, we're using 0.2 less than we're making, but that also changes very quickly because these cannons need constant supply. That is rough. But now we're collecting the green stuff so we can start to make liftic. Hmm. What exactly that's good for? I'm not sure. A beacon? We don't need that because there's no dark towers here although it does look like the overall level of the ocean is going down so that's a good thing and there are these emitters on the corners of the map that we need to get to in order to win this so we are literally like draining the ocean here and i think what would make that better is now bringing in the mortars i wasn't sure initially if they would be good because of the waves that get made don't want that splashing up on my stuff okay if i can get a tower here i can extend my energy production but there's creep in the way. Maybe I just need more anti-creep sprayers because we have a lot of those. So we can just start spraying more of this anti-creep stuff everywhere, especially on the backside if I can manage it. This is just taking a little bit of time because everything needs energy in order to fire. This is a huge deficit we're creating. My goodness. Ooh, but the mortars are shooting. So that's good news because those are really good at removing creep. And then let's try moving this cannon down to this level and this one down to this level so I can get closer to the action and remove more of the creep from the shielded areas. And thankfully the sprayers build very quickly. So now we're spraying anti-creep directly onto the regular creep. That's working pretty good. Oh gosh, but look at how fast we're going through the anti-creep now. This might cause a deficit there, but if we can make it down to the ocean floor, then that'd be really beneficial. Although I'm not too sure if the sprayer firing directly at the creep is working. Oh, because it's not always on. You're supposed to just be spraying everywhere. There, that seems to be working. We are recovering more of the island than we had to begin with, and look at how shallow it is right here. This is working really well. Our tiny island is getting a whole lot bigger. I suppose I could use a turp to terraform and give myself more island to work with, but that just feels like cheating. And what we have going here is working really well, and we can get more towers down right here. 
right here nope or not okay just go right here then oh i see why because that's at the very edge of the shields do we still need those for just a little bit longer it looks like i don't really have anything else to use the arg for unless i built a mini rift but this map is so small that really doesn't seem to be worth it okay now we're starting to expand outside of the shield this way i should get a mortar going over here this is a much better important area for the mortar to be and there's just two more levels before we're at the bottom of the ocean where all this breeder tiles are we're just dealing with the deficit the entire time why not sure Ooh, i can get a lot of energy tiles here as long as that tower survives it's still in the shield so hopefully it does okay it's built that's a good sign and we are starting to make some headway outside of the shield over here so let's move a cannon down to this level be brave little cannon and he's doing pretty well there nice so as long as you can keep the tower in front of you safe then we can get a lot more energy which he is just barely doing and the anti-creep is also just barely keeping up now i'm just watching for the point that the creep gets away entirely oh right there oh we're we're getting all the way to the bottom of the floor there. We need a sprayer over there. And we are currently in a deficit on spray. So let's not build a new one and just move one that we have. Like this guy. As long as the other cannons can keep him alive. He's sticking his foot outside the shield there. But... The anti creep is keeping up wonderfully. At least it kind of is. He's still taking some damage. Okay, we just lost a tower over there. You were supposed to defend that. I mean, it's kind of a big ask. Because he's starting to get overrun now too. I'm just trying to figure out where I can put stuff. Well, I can still get some energy production if I build right next to the cannon. Right here, and then over here somewhere. Hopefully good. That looks good. This is quite a closely knit network of towers. Ooh, but we can get 54 extra tiles right there of energy production. So now we're starting to keep up with the deficit. It's starting to go down, and this next layer of the island is starting to become all the way uncovered. At least until it splashes back up like that. That is intimidating. We're to lose towers that way no don't do that are you serious right now bro oh dear these emitters aren't even putting out very much but they're not giving up our advance is starting to plateau a little bit so i need to reorganize a little bit here the mortars are good for big strikes but it quickly gets enveloped faster than they can reload so let's go ahead and get rid of the mortars so we can save a little bit of energy production at least so we can solve this deficit which we are very close to solving so much so that some of these cannons are being constantly fueled which is good i suppose something that would help is we can actually move these shields because now we're uncovering the very edge of them which is good news so let's get you out in front calmly moving you over here about to make a lot of push out from the creep and there it goes yes get on out of here we don't need you around here I don't want you around here. That's working really well. And now area's protected for towers to go in safely. It's a little risky, but the tower's built. Okay, now let's move cannons down. Oh dear, yep, the creep is washing up right there. Oh, but we're starting to expose some of the anti-creep oh, breeder yeah. tile. Good, sprayer needs to move down so he can spray right on there. And there it is, yes! We got waves of anti-creep going out now. Good, very good. That's only gonna get bigger. Unless it all gets absorbed by the creep. Lovely. We'll just need to try and keep that tile constantly exposed so we can just keep making waves like that and then the more we uncover the bigger the waves be and look at that we're out of our deficit and we're actually almost to maximum storage again excellent Woo! now i feel good about bringing some mortars back especially pointed right at the anti-creep tile and where the shield was can go another mortar because it extends the range <laughs> Oh dear, what just happened there? Something blew up. Oh, the mortar I was building got destroyed. Am I just gonna need cannons on every tier of this island? That might end up being the case. At least the mortar up top is safe, but it's also bringing us back into a deficit. Need to get another tower going over here because the mortar should be able to keep it safe, hopefully. And here, we'll bring a cannon pointed right at the base of the tower. That's working pretty well. And... This shield can also move out over here, this way, as long as everything can keep it safe. Thankfully, the shield area is overlapped enough. And boom, yes, another shove of the creep in the out direction. Oh dear, but we're still losing towers on the backside. I think this cannon over here might need a friend. A dynamic duo of sorts. All right, it just, oh wow, it got built just in time. It started taking damage right away. But thankfully that's staying safe. So let's bring back the tower over here that got destroyed. Hopefully as soon as we can recover enough landmass. But now the waves that come from the emitters on the edge of the world are 
being a lot more noticeable. And there's no anti-creep flowing down this way. That's kind of surprising. I guess that means the ones at the very top have run out. Okay, here's what I want to try and do. Get a shield going all the way to the bottom of the world. I'm just not sure which one I should try that with because this one needs to not move or else the creep just flows back right away. And this one isn't doing anything. We'll just wait for the anti-creep to surge again like it's doing and then move it over there very quickly. So we can use that real estate effectively. Yes! Now once the creep gets pushed out, the anti-creep can flow in and have a lot more room to breathe and breed because it's a breeder tile. And we also have more real estate to put in some energy towers. That's really good. Oh yeah, lots of more anti-creep being made. I love the look of that. We also have enough real estate to put in an urn thing right here. As long as a regular creep doesn't flow back because it's sticking his little foot out. And our shields are looking pretty strong, I must say. But now that we have an urn portal built, we can upgrade a lot of these things because it's about time we had upgrades and they were all exposed to begin with, so we can make use of them right away. There we go. So, whoa! There's a lot of anti-creep being made at once. That's like exponential growth right there. I love that. Do I even need these shields anymore? Not over here. So let's move you over here because you're going to be a lot more use on the backside of the world now. And now we can put down a lot more towers. Oh, energy production, how I missed you. I wasn't missing you, but you just weren't there the way I needed you to be. Oh, but things are getting destroyed already. What? What did we just lose? Oh, we lost a shield. Well, that's a problem. At least now our cannons are being constantly fueled. So let's bring in some more mortars because now we have the energy production to keep up with them. Look at the way that's going out here. Oh, wow. We're almost to this emitter over here already. Let's go ahead and take advantage of that. Get a nullifier set up as soon as possible. And oh, that's a lot of anti-creep. Wow, we're at the same level that the normal creep was when we started. Even more so. I might as well just delete these towers. Or just, you know, keep moving them. I could probably delete one of them. So, oh, actually, look at that. We're generating a lot more arg again. Good, 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 good. My goodness, we have cornered these two emitters so quickly. And the anti-creep just keeps on being made. Can we get a nullifier close enough already? Yes, we can, because there's enough anti-creep in the world that it just really isn't going anywhere. The world just went so silent because the anti-creep is doing all the work for me. I love that so much. I'll just get rid of the shields. They're just kind of being a nuisance because they're blocking the anti-creep from flowing in and capturing everything. And then we get towers going over here, just kind of haphazardly placing them because I really don't need them anymore, actually. Just get the nullifier set up right away, and then we'll build... One of the ones over here as soon as the anti-creep fills in. I don't know how a map like this got covered with creep to begin with because of all the anti-creep tiles on the seafloor, but it's working pretty well for us. Now nullifier going over here, and then we'll set up this one, and I'll work on building towers to it all the way there that's reaching. So we already have those two nullified, and then once these towers get built over here... Well, that's working. I actually want to see something. If I... Okay, I can't remove that, but if I delete it, is there enough anti-creep just to make the emitter not matter? Ooh. Oh, okay, that quickly just takes over right there. That's fair. But now this one is nullified, and then yes, this one is nullified as well. So we just have to undo my mistakes. Oh, which this... Okay, this emitter is picking up the slack of all the other ones. Now it's actually damaging the nullifier. Wow. Last ditch effort for the creep, I guess. But that quickly gets overrun and enveloped entirely by anti-creep. So now we have successfully taken over this map and we can rift jump away. That little island went a long way. That was fun though. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, make sure to let me know. Thank you for watching and sub to intern. I'd also like to thank the channel members, including Bread, Ancient Elixir One, Corby Farm, Dakota C, Donomoto, Deviant X, Lucas S, The Real Nickname, Hateful Herald, Peggy Sue, Drupalong, TJ, Seriously Sarcastic, Angel, Lily Bice, The Minor Within, Degarity, Sans, Isaac, Hometown Medic, Miguel, and Drew.